Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Scientists in La Jolla say they are close to a cure for baldness. Yeah, 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens joins us in the live center. And Jared, they have found a way to create new hair cells. Jim, Virginia, this is a story that I am very interested in. Right now, treatment for going bald is focused on, you know, either reviving your dead hair cells or transplanting what you still have to where you don't have it anymore. But one lab in La Jolla, Stemson Therapeutics, say they have a way to create new cells and grow brand new hair. This dermal papilla cells became quiescent. In his very scientific way, and initiate proliferation of papilla cells. Stemson Therapeutics lead scientist Alexei Tursky lays out his plan to help the follically challenged. We're hoping that this will be the breakthrough to uh, cure baldness. His lab at Sanford Burnham Prebis in La Jolla has engineered a way to turn stem cells into follicles, the building blocks for hair. They've also created a microscopic 3D printed scaffold to help transplant the cells into the skin. Imagine transplanting thousands, tens of thousands of those. We Stemson CEO Jeff Hamilton says there's still a few years away from human trials, but experiments on mice have shown promise. And once they're in the skin, the cells actually do what they're designed to do. Essentially, we, we were successful in taking um, human cells and having those human cells direct mouse hair growth. Tursky's been working on this since 2009. Seeing success now has both men excited about what it could mean for the future. We're inventing as we go. You know, we're making up the, the path ahead of us as we go. So the stem cells they're using come from blood or living cells, not from fetal tissue. And the company says this therapy could work not only on people who are going bald naturally, but also anyone who lost hair from things like chemo treatment or severe burns or injuries. In the Live Center, Jared Ahrens, 10 News. The company. Jared, I have no idea why you'd be interested in no, that. No, no idea <laughs> at all. I, they said they've gotten lots of uh, volunteers for trials when they finally started. I, I kind of raised my hand for that one, too. <laughs> And if they figure it out, boy, rich is beyond. Right? I mean, boy, that'll be oh, huge. You bring up the idea of cost. It's going to cost probably about as much as hair transplants to surgery does now. So it's not going to be cheap, but it could be possible. All righty. And then they have to figure out how to stop it from continuing to go silver and gray. <laughs> That's and, next. Thank you, we'll Jared. All be happy. Jared, thank you. Now